Hi everyone. Today I am going to teach about Lamis concept numericals. So in the last class we had seen about what is meant by Lamis theorem and also the statement and the proof of Lamis theorem. So it says that each force is proportional to the sign of angle between other two forces. So normally in the Lamis theorem we will be having three force systems. So here in this numerical it is said that two cables AB and CB are tied together at B. It is loaded by a weight of 100 Newton as shown in the figure. Determine the tensions in the cable AB at a CB. So this is the question. So how to deal with this? So we shall see. So here you can see uh, this cable AB and CB tied together at B. So here it is loaded with a weight of 100 Newton and they have given some dimensions. So here we need to draw free body diagram FBD first. So how to draw FBD means just make the uh, line of action right this line right and just place the load w equal to 100 newton so it is facing downward direction right this is 90 degree this is 90 degree and this uh, there are two um, like in two cables are tied so two tensile forces are there right so you make um, a arrow mark over the cable bc and da so two you can find two forces here right so just name since it's a tensile force name it as t so it is coming from a to b so t a b here t um c b or b c you can name it like c b or b c issues and just um, mark the angles this is 90 degree 90 degree this is theta 2 this is theta just name like that so they have given the dimensions of 200 mm 525 mm so you can make opposite by adjacent so you can use tan theta right tan theta tan uh, theta equal to 200 mm by 25 mm you will get the answer for this theta mm. and this theta also parallelly 50 mm 50 mm we can get the values so first we have to find this theta 1 and theta 2 so how to find theta 1 the opposite side is 50 adjacent side is 50 50 by 51 so theta is equal to 45 degrees tan theta 2 so tan theta 2 200 by 25 mm so that is some angle so you will be having theta 1 and theta 2 so um, they, now after finding this theta now you have got um, the value for w now you have to find t a b and t b c so now we shall see how to find that from the fbd so using the lamis theorem we know that lamis theorem means force by sign of the angle between other two forces so the force is w what is the angle between other two forces it's not known right so just write sign so this full is 180 degree minus theta 1 minus theta 2 you will get the value of this theta right this angle in the b so see the equation and next one is t b c so t b c divided by um, theta 1 plus 90, 90 degrees right t a b divided by the sign of angle between other two forces theta 2 90 so theta 2 plus 90 just add it so you will have finally you can get the value for uh, T A B tension in the cable A B and tension in the cable M B C. How means just compare the known value with the unknown. First, you just compare T B C with the, this hundred uh, hundred and again T A B with this hundred newton force. So finally, you will get the tension at uh, T A B is fifteen point seven two newton and T A B is T, uh, T B C is 89.59 Newton. So this is how we need to find the value of tensile forces. So uh, again like in all the numericals wherever you find uh, three force system you can blankly apply this uh, Lamis concept. If you have only one known force it is sufficient to find the other two unknown forces. But if in the case you are finding more than three forces or less than three forces means this Lamis theorem is not at all applicable. You have to go for uh, uh, equilibrium conditions that is summation of vertical forces is equal to 0 and summation of horizontal forces is equal to 0 and moment is equal to 0. So using that you can find the unknown values but if in the case you find three forces system means then immediately you have to go for Lamis concept because uh, in the Lamis concept only we will get the answer for uh, um, like, um, uh, like easily we can get the answers for the tensile force or any other forces we can apply this particular Lamis theorem if only one side is known and other two sides are not known. So this is how you need to find um, answers for all the numericals. The next numerical is 
three links A, B, B, C, and C, E are carrying two loads uh, under Newton load and W at B um, and W under Newton and W at B and C as shown in the figure. Uh, the string A, D is attached to the ceiling. See, it is attached to the ceiling. Calculate the tensions in A, B, B, C, and C, D. So, they are telling us to uh, find the answer for T suffix A, B, T suffix B, C, and T suffix C, D. So, we shall see how to solve this uh, in, now i will teach you about the fbd and in my next lecture video i will tell you about how to solve that so in this fbd just um, the given diagram um, it is said that ad is attached to the ceiling and they have to 100 newton and w is the loads acting at b and c and they have given the dimensions right now this 0.5 mm 1 meter 0.6 mm 1 meter i just name 100 um, and then 100 newton force and w right so just draw the fpd for b point first okay make the graph first and just um, draw uh, the arrow mark for wherever you find cable so you can find the cable at bc and ta ba right so name it tab or tba no issues and again tbc so two cables you find you have found so two tensile forces are here in the joint b so just mention it and uh, I'll just mark the 100 newton force over it like that um, in the same way, um, like mark the, see here it's 100 Newton. So you no need to find any angle. This is also 100 Newton. See this side. And this is also, sorry, this is also 90 degrees. This is also 90 degree. And this one is also 90 degree. But we don't know how much angle this side. So you have to use um, the tan theta formulas and all. So since you have got opposite by adjacent, it's better to use tan theta opposite side by adjacent side for finding out this theta, right? Name it as theta 1 and just, uh, and just uh, make it for F. Again, for TBC, for joint C, just mention the W load one side and TBC, this is a tensile force and TCD and this one as theta 2, mark it and just make two FPDs over it. Wherever you find 3-4 system, you have to mark, uh, draw a FPD. So, here we have found 2-3-4 two, two, systems. So, 2 FPDs I have made. So, I will in the next class, I will uh, um, teach you how to solve this. Okay, thank you.